Many believe last week's bomb scares signal the need for new security regulation. Our next guest says the opposite is true. Yossi Sheffi is a professor of engineering systems and the director of the Center for Transportation and Logistics at MIT. He is also the author of The Resilient Enterprise, Overcoming Vulnerability for Competitive Advantage. Professor Sheffi joins us now from our Boston newsroom. Professor, welcome to Bloomberg News. Good to have you on today. Good afternoon, Mark. Professor, you believe that in the wake of these scares last week that perhaps people are overreacting. Why? Yes, I do believe that people may be overreacting. It's true that it's easy to sneak a bomb on a uh, cargo plane. We don't scan 100 percent of the shipments on cargo plane as we scan the luggage and cargo shipment that go on the belly of uh, our passenger planes. But on the other hand, let's look at what happened last week. Uh, the bomb, the, uh, the whole plot was foiled. So uh, things that were in place, like the cooperation with the Saudis and checking the manifest and ch checking origin, destination and other uh, data on, on the package help pinpoint that we have a problem. Second, se uh, sending a package by FedEx or UPS is usually a very small amount of explosive. It is not going to bring down a synagogue or a building. It, had, it, it is a danger to the airplane itself. But bringing down a cargo plane does not have the same terror impact that bringing down a passenger plane is. You don't have hundreds of grieving widows and brothers and sisters and right. parents all over the television, so it does not have the same terror impact. Well, sir, uh, given that uh, apparently some of the screening processes that were in place worked last week, is it realistic to say that you could have, uh, I guess, a 100 percent screening requirement on air cargo? This is totally unrealistic. We have tens of millions of packages flying every night. In fact, UPS alone is dealing with about 15 million packages every night. This is not realistic to scan everything. What we should be doing, and we should be looking at this, is using automated systems based on the data that is given when the package is sent. Where is it coming from? Where is it going? How is it paid for? Is there history with this shipper or receiver? All this data can be used to pinpoint packages that require scanning. And in fact, in some sense, this is exactly what happened last week. Professor Sheffi, uh, foreign carriers bringing cargo into the United States. Unfortunately, there aren't a uniform set of rules for other countries and for the United States. Is that something that the international uh, air cargo transportation is going to have to take the lead on? Clearly, clearly. And there are discussions already taking place in order to tighten up some of these uh, procedures. But Let's not forget that the carriers themselves have a keen interest in getting to be more tightly secured. If you need to be there the next morning positively, exactly at 8.30 or 10.30, right. you want to make sure that the package is there. Well, and so the carriers themselves are already having several means of trying to identify suspic suspicious packages. And professor, and we, we need to expand this. And Professor, I would imagine one of the other problems, too, is that cargo comes in varying shapes and sizes. Is it just not a fact that there are not X-ray machines that are big enough to scan some of the larger pieces of cargo? OK, the issue with a, usually air cargo does not come in very large shipments. The problem with large shipment is usually with maritime, with containers. And this is a different problem with the uh, um, uh, Custom Security Initiative and several other initiatives of the uh, TSA, of Department of Homeland Security, are already in place and are being implemented right. all around the world. Uh, the main problem with big cargo are containers that go on maritime, on vessels, yeah. not the small shipment that go on the air. All right, uh, Professor, in our last 30 seconds, is the answer here just to make sure that no pieces of cargo are exempt? Should all pieces of air cargo be subject to inspection? No, we cannot stop the flow of air cargo. There is some risk, but life is always risky. I mean, if you want to avoid any risk, you don't get out of bed in the morning. There is a balance here between acceptable risk and the economy. We cannot stop the huge flow of overnight packages all over the world, commerce and the economies depend on it. So we have to keep that going and we have to use technology and smart means to get this going, but it cannot be slowed down. All right, Professor Yossi Sheffi of MIT joining us from our Boston Bureau. Professor, thank you so much. We appreciate it.